Hello everyone, welcome to lesson 4, One Point Perspective. Perspectives could be created in various types. In general there are three, uh, three perspective rules. Based on one point perspective that we will talk today here, I will start with the horizon line and one vanishing point. Those lines will create a grid for our future perspective, they support our understanding and the creation of the perspective. The second two-point perspective, it has two vanishing points, which are right and left vanishing points. Meanwhile, I'm creating here the squares, putting them everywhere in my space. So, what is one-point perspective? It has one vanishing point. Normally used for drawing uh, the arrangement of interiors, views of a linear object line, the rows of the buildings, a road and many more. So yeah, as you can see I just easily connect corners of the each shape, each square and uh, rectangle with this vanishing point somewhere on the horizon and it's helped me easily, easily to create my forms, my objects with the one point perspective in the space. Okay, so as I started to explain, there are a few, few perspectives one point perspective, two point perspective, three point perspective and also the multiply point perspective that we will talk later if you want uh, to know more about uh, all those perspectives follow my channel uh, I will explain uh, two point perspective on next, uh, in the next lesson three points perspective and for multiply point perspective you are welcome to uh, follow my channel and uh, find the link on my course, special course with more details, more tips, uh, link I will provide soon. So please, please uh, uh, stay tuned, follow my channel, look for news and we will talk about multiply perspective in the future. Meanwhile you can see I'm doing the transparent lines to understand the positioning of my object in the space everything going in at one point let's make it more clear with a black marker more thick black marker today uh, I used uh, I like uh, to use this uh, uh, pigment liner today and uh, help with a thick marker to to create more clear and uh, clear objects for you like this yes so again for more details about uh, uh, about tips and uh, more rules please for channel check check my videos and also the future link on a full course that will include all, all details about four perspectives, one point perspective, two point perspective, three point perspective and multiply point perspective. <coughs> Sorry, uh, by the way you can see here I'm doing some shading under the my objects and the shading also should must actually must follow same rules the lines of the shading the they're going to be one one point so again one point perspective it has one vanishing point somewhere on horizon line normally used for to draw streets and uh, line uh, object that is staying in line like 
this uh, so here I'm doing the details I'm opening some window on this object and you can see inside inside surface to create this inside surface I also uh, connect the corner of the window with uh, this vanishing point to create the correct perspective according to the one point perspective okay let's make some shading here looks good one more here so in a general uh, the concept of perspective has few uh, basic rules and basic uh, uh, topics that we will talk about them on my course so one of them it's a picture plane vanishing point horizon line ground line and station point those points we will discuss uh, later on my course you're welcome to follow the link that I will provide soon so let's let's make it again uh, you can see that I can put the vanishing point anywhere on the, on the horizontal line on the left middle right and then just connect corners again as I mentioned before just connect corners with this vanishing point to create correct one point perspective so you would uh, ask what is actually vanishing point so vanishing point is a point where parallel lines appear to converge the number and placement on vanishing point it's determined by types of perspective yeah here we are talking about one vanishing point so all lines going into the one point uh, so yeah the number of place uh, and placement of vanishing points uh, is determined by types of perspe uh, perspective such as uh, one point perspective two point perspective and others so here uh, let's do again more clear lines to show the object in a space uh, by the way if you putting the uh, if you will put uh, the object above the horizon line you will see the object from the bottom you see you okay and if you you put the object below the horizon line you can see the top surface of the object okay so those three on top they kind of floating flying above the horizon line let's make it even more clear by adding shading on the bottom surface like this So you can see few objects created with the one one point perspective. So let's make some maybe to explain you more to show you more sample of a one point perspective. Let's make maybe some street, uh, draw some street with uh, high rise buildings like here, and there. It's a starting point, the base of the buildings. So, actually, to understand better this one point perspective, you can go outside and uh, check your street, stay on the left side right side of the street if you can go to the uh, stay on the middle be careful <laughs> and uh, you easily will recognize this one point perspective by looking to the horizon let's put here some trees and with the 
perspective line that going into the vanishing point there it helps me to create correct proportions of each object that uh, according to the basic perspective rules uh, the the first object the closer object to you it's always bigger and the rest going smaller and smaller and about this uh, this rule this uh, uh, topic we will talk more precisely on one of my uh, lessons if you, you follow my channel you will find the link on the course where I will explain even more give you more tips and details about how to create one point perspective two point perspective three and one multiply point perspective very interesting one so let's add here yeah some some balconies on uh, my building so you can see every surface every detail on my sketch following this one point perspective rule everything going there into the this vanishing point on on the horizon like this a little bit shading like a shadow below the balcony here and there yeah okay yeah so as i'm as i say before apart uh, from the basic knowledge of uh, about the perspectives there are a few other matters that uh, uh, you need to understand and uh, definitely take a look on the next lessons uh, follow my channel Yeah, regarding the, uh, I would say regarding the vanishing point, uh, you you could ask uh, why I should put this uh, point. So it could be anywhere uh, to create different kind of uh, perspective in the middle, left and right. So it depends what uh, composition you want to create, what uh, kind of perspective uh, if you want to. Uh, to look on your object more uh, left side or right side so you can see here it's made very strong perspective uh, like this you can see let's say those buildings on the street so the here I'm standing first on the top let's say I'm standing in the middle of the road and then on the left and the right side again I'm using the black marker to create more visible lines to make it more fine like this yep sorry we are not talking about design today, so please, please don't give me comments on my design of the cars or architecture. <laughs> We're just talking about perspective rule here, how to create one point perspective. And by the way, on my course that you will find uh, later, we'll talk about how to create objects into the perspective. Thanks for watching this video, see you next time, we will talk about two points perspective.